it was a mistake. They I say sorry is the hardest yeah. word, but never have we heard it so much. From the White House. This was my mistake, my bad. Pepsi and even the unfriendly skies. Oh my God! The apologies from United CEO have dragged on. No one should be treated that way. Period. Doubling down after initially apologizing for, quote, having to reaccommodate customers. His mea culpa apparently didn't fly. I thought it was, it was uh, staged. Whether in business or personal relationships, sincerity matters. Being sincere is so important and, and meaning it when you're, saying, when you're saying I'm sorry. Jackie Juarez, behavioral health counselor with Parkland Hospital System, says an effective apology takes accountability. You did something, you hurt the other person. It's time to kind of accept responsibility for that. We all like hearing it. It's a great feeling. But don't like doing it. It depends on if you think you're wrong or not. Blame it on human nature, our crutch to be defensive. Kind of taps into our base um, desire to be right or to not admit guilt. Though some see apologizing as a moment of weakness, it can actually be a powerful tool. There's also something very kind of selfish in a way. We came to a healing place, the Fort Worth Water Gardens, to talk about those two healing words. I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to hear it. You want to hear it. But how we say it can get us in trouble. I'm sorry if, and it always is that very three words, I'm sorry if. I'm sorry if is not an apology. We've all heard it, the not apology apology, the kind that comes with a disclaimer. Sometimes it can make it worse. And ever heard this one before? I'm sorry. Love means never having to say you're sorry. And I don't know whoever came up with that. Maybe they've never really been in love. So go ahead, just say it. I am very sorry for all the trouble I caused on Colony Drive a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry. Sorry, babe, love you. Make amends with the people you love.